In the previous sections, we introduced pen to her reporting as a single file with a PRPT extension. In this video, we want to dive inside the structure of that file and understand how it's defined and how it's made up. The first thing to consider is that the PRPT file is a kind of zip based file format that includes all the necessary resources to render a report. Most of them are XML files as well as additional resources such as embedded images and sub reports. The format of the PRPT file is based on the open document format. The most important files that make up a report are settings.xml, data definition.xml, layout.xml, styles.xml. Settings.xml contains global configuration properties for a report, but you really need to define them when generating a report. Data definition.xml contains information about the report data sources and other advanced things like parameters, functions, and expressions. Looking at our report, we can see a data source linked to data sources compoundds.xml file, which contains a single data factory that holds the data source details. Layout.xml defines the primary structure of the bands contained in a report and their elements. Each band is an XML element structured hierarchically with other XMLs for the elements, sub-elements, etc. In our case, there is a group tag for the product line and a details tag for product name field, quantity and stock field, etc. Styles.xml defines page format, style rules, global layout processes, watermarks, and finally, header and footer sections. In our case, we can see, for example, the composition of the page header, text style, and the report date as a text field in the page footer. As we can see in the PRPT archive, additional files are required to complete the archive, but are less central to the rendering of the report. The meta-inf-manifest.xml contains a complete list of the PRPT files together with their content type. The content.xml is left empty, but is used to inject global templates later on. The data schema.xml contains additional metadata. The meta.xml is requested by the open document standard and contains information about the PRPT file. The MIME type contains the MIME type of the PRPT file. Now that we're able to understand and build the content of a PRPT file, let's build a report using the Pentaho reporting Java API.